When I was a child, I didn't understand that I was different. To me, I thought I was just like every other kid. But everybody else saw something different, and I didn't know why. Why was sex so important? Why was a faggot so bad? Uh, why was everybody picking on me? I didn't understand this. I, wa I was 20 when I first found out about transsexualism. And I was in Germany. Um, but still, learning about it, knowing, hey, I feel that way. And then trying to say, okay, this is what I need to do, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to be like that because everybody else told me I, I can't be like that. It was a bad thing. So trying to rewrite all these things and not suffer emotionally is impossible. So you find a way to ease the emotional pain. Drinking, a little drug here and there, a little more drug everywhere, and soon you forget. You're still in misery, but your mind is set on finding the, the next good hit or the next sh shot up. That life becomes meaningless in the end. And then you have a decision, well, do I get clean and try to live my, learn how to live my life? Or do I give up and try and kill myself? And I think that's the drawing part for me, was every time I got to the point where I wanted to die and I'd set everything up, I would get so pissed off that I would cry. And then I would try and straighten myself out from there. Actively seek out people who you trust that can help you find resources. Um, in my case, uh, my faith tradition has always been an important aspect of that and I think um, anywhere you go there are resources and use the internet to Google uh, gay support groups or whatever your case may be just get in access to information and know that there are people out there that will take care of you and will honor who you are and don't listen to the people that tell you you can't be whatever it is that you want to be. I would tell them to go for it but make sure they understand what they are getting themselves into because there will be criticisms, there will be bullying, there will, you will be targeted, you will be talked about, you will be dehumanized. De you have to be prepared, you know, but if that's what you feel that in your heart that this is what you want to do, go for it. Go for it. I did. I came out when I was 10, but I struggled because I had to live this life during this day, and then I had to be feminine during this day at this time. So it wasn't until basically I had my children that I'm like, okay, enough is enough. You know, I, I got to be happy. Today, I just want people that come, that, that, that's coming out, just be happy. That's all I can say, just be happy. If you're um, questioning anything about your identity, no matter what age you are, there is, there are so many resources online. Um, personally, I started with watching like coming out YouTube videos and having people share their story. Um, that was really affirming to me, and it really helped me to see, you know, I'm not alone. There are people with very, very similar stories to me on the internet. Um, there's so many resources, and if you need some, some big ones that have just like a ton of stuff would be Promo Missouri, I would say is one of the really big ones.
I would say just hang in there and just keep pushing forward. You know, you got to let all the hate and all of the, the, the derogatory words and all of that crap just slide off of your back like water sliding off of a duck's back. I hate to sound like, you know, weird or anything like that, but it's true. I mean, it really does get easier as you get older. And when you get older, you really don't care as much about what people have to say and about what people think and about the gossip. And because it's just, it, it's a waste of time. Why waste your time and your energy on people that are just gonna hate on you? People wanna hate, they're gonna hate. There's nothing that you can do. Sometimes you can, but sometimes you can't. Some people are just ignorant and you have to let them be ignorant.